The Atlantic Intercoastal Waterway is an adventure within the reach and capabilities of almost any boat owner. All the way from Norfolk, Virginia to Key West, Florida, thousands of snowbirds flock south along the ICW during the fall. On the way, you'll travel along quiet, pristine, strangely lonesome rivers. Is also a working waterway. The ICW is not only used by recreational boaters, you'll use the rivers and canals frequented by working watermen and fishermen. You'll cross and travel along the channels leading to major commercial ports and cities. But the Intercoastal Waterway is all inshore. It's all inland. You'll never have to get out on the ocean. Remote fishing villages line the banks. From these quiet and peaceful villages to bustling cities with all the dash and vibrancy that comes with modern commerce, trade, and business of all types. The ICW is truly a cross-section of coastal United States. The intercoastal waterway passes through miles and miles of wilderness, both protected wildlife preserves and just plain uninhabited areas. The pace is slow on the ICW. If you just want to get to Florida, don't go by boat. Any other way of getting there is faster. Even full-powered motor yachts take two weeks or more. Sailboats, motoring almost all the way, take at least three weeks, often a month. Plan to take your time and enjoy the sights. Stop early in the late afternoon or evening. It is not wise to continue after sunset. Instead, turn out of the channel and drop the hook in remote, secure, and secluded anchorage. There are lots of them along the way, Many are listed at snowbirders.net. You have never seen as many stars as you'll see nights along the coast of the Carolinas. Most marinas welcome snowbirds with attractive rates and many features and amenities. Marinas range from big, totally modern, and up-to-date in every respect, even luxurious. To smaller, more neighborly, more intimate and friendly places. Along the way, meet other ICW travelers. Snowbirds like you. Over 4,000 pleasure boats migrate south in the fall and north again in the spring. Meet, exchange stories, swap yarns, offer and get advice. Make new friends at marinas, restaurants, and taverns as you void south. There is so much to see. The waterway is home to many species of wildlife. See nature at her best. The ICW is a perfect environment for many kinds of water birds. Some rare and endangered, Others more common. Birds are everywhere. Wild horses still roam some of the sea islands. Plan to start your day early to see it all. Ever playful dolphins race your boat and always win. And shopping. 
You'll find outlet malls right on the waterway with name brands at deep discounts. Off the beaten path, put on your detective cap and investigate the waterfront. You'll find some truly unique, some one-of-a-kind shops all along the way. The Intracoastal Waterway takes you through parts of the Old South. Many homes predate the American Civil War, or as they call it here, the wall between the states. Antebellum mansions are found in towns and villages all along the way. The Old South. And the luxurious homes of the New South line parts of the waterway. Almost palaces, really. There is always something to see. And some things that are usually not seen. And some things that defy description. Voters love Florida's bright sunshine and gentle winters. Plan to arrive in Florida before the middle of November. Enjoy the Thanksgiving holiday in shorts and sandals. Snowbirds can spend all winter in little more than a swimsuit. Where else can you swim in the ocean year-round and put away your winter clothing for good? Okay, that's about enough girls in bikinis. But really, you can spend more time out of doors than ever before. Everything is arranged for the outdoor way of life. There's always a festival or art show or something going on. This series of videos is arranged in 100 mile increments. From Norfolk, Virginia, all the way down to Miami, Florida. Each one is like a chapter, 11 chapters in all. Each is about 10 to 20 minutes long. That's two full DVD video discs. This video set is not intended to replace a good chart book. And it certainly doesn't have all the detailed information found in the waterway guides. The purpose of this video is to supplement these and give snowbirders an entertaining and informative overview, a visual preview along the Atlantic Intracoastal Waterway. So just sit back as we return to Mile Zero in Norfolk and we'll be on our way.